Hello friends, welcome, welcome to my channel Z Network Lessons and this is Zubarat of Qureshi and I'm back with a new video. As you can see, I'm on the web page of gns3.com and in my previous video, I've shown you how to install the gns3 client on your Windows PC and in this video, I'll be showing you how to uh, download and install gns3 VM and also how to integrate the gns3 VM with your uh, gns3 client so without wasting much time let's begin so in order to do this you need to download the gns3 vm first from this website and before this you should have uh, the vmware workstation pro or vmware workstation player installed so if you want to do it for free go for the gns3 or work sorry vmware workstation player that is free and then you can do this on virtualbox as well but the recommended uh, method is to use gns3 workstation player or workstation pro so if you do some research on google and youtube you will find out free license keys for your gns3 workstation, workstation pro i will recommend you workstation pro let's go here and let's download the gns3 uh, uh, vm right from this website so for that you have to go and click on the green button which says free download okay let's go and click there wait a second okay okay fine okay, uh, free download uh so this will open up this page, page where we downloaded the gns3 client you don't have to click here uh you have to click on the bottom you can see download the gns3 vm click there and that will redirect you to another web uh web page so here we have to go for the particular uh, uh, i mean uh platform that we're using i'm going to use vmware workstation or fusion if you're having a mac so I'll click on download and this will download the uh, VM. So I have already downloaded this. As you can see, this is 2.2.15, uh, 2.2.15. I have downloaded 2.2.12 already and I've installed GNS3 client also as 2.2.12. Uh, remember, you have to match these two. So I'll show you, I have already downloaded this. Um, let me open up the folder and drag it oh uh, yeah so this is the file i will right click on this uh, first thing uh, is to extract this right so right click and extract to this folder uh, if you don't have the uh, vendor go and install the vendor if uh, if you can extract it using the uh, winzip you can do that um, doesn't matter you have to extract the ova file from the zip file uh, and i will turn on the workstation as well and let me show you that I don't have any VMs uh, which relates to GNS3 VM, right? So once this is extracted, I have to go and, Im and import this to my VMware workstation. So I'll double click on this OVA file and it should, uh, I mean, automatically open in VMware workstation. So I'll have to just click on the import button and also you can change the installation directory there, um, hitting on the browse but i'll keep the same and then i'll click on import okay so yeah click on import and let's wait for this um, installation to complete once this is completed i have to i mean i don't have to change anything any setting on vmware workstation i can actually do it through my gns3 web um, gns3 gui the client uh, because that is the proper method because the gns3 makes an api call to the um, vmware workstation player or pro to change the to turn on the vm as well as to change some settings right so that is the proper method a proper way uh, to do it through the gns3 client okay so let this um, get imported okay finally it has been imported okay fine I can see here uh, let me show you the settings uh, i'll click on the edit settings of the vm and you can see the settings here so it, it has a 2 gb ram by default and it has been assigned with one virtual cpu and the uh, network adapters keep it same don't change anything click hit hit ok and turn on this for the first time so let's wait for this um, machine to turn on and as um, I just want to show you that this GNS3 VM is based on Linux kernel and that too on the Ubuntu version. Okay, Ubuntu. Uh, depends. I mean, people call it with different ways Ubuntu, Zubuntu, 
Ubuntu, something like that. Anyways, um, uh, so once this is turned on, I just want to show you the CLI how it looks like. So this is the CLI, and you can see there as an IP assigned to it. You can uh, go to the web uh, GUI as well. Um, just HTTP to the IP that has been given. Here. I don't want. To, I don't want to do that. I'll hit OK and shut this down. Yes. Uh, and power shut down. So after this is um, turned off, I have to go and um, open my GNS3 client, right? So let me go and turn on my GNS3 client. So next method is to integrate the GNS3 VM with my GNS3 client. So this is my GNS3 client, as you can. Okay, there is. Okay, this is initializing. So we'll see a local server on the right side here. Uh, right now, no, there is nothing. Wait a second. This is initializing. Yeah, it is initializing and you will see one server that is your local server. Okay, yeah, you can see the local server there. I will, um, I don't want to create anything, click cancel. Now go to edit preferences and um, you can see the uh, server uh, option there. You can see that the local server is enabled. Keep it enabled as it is. Go to the, the GNS3 VM, enable the GNS3 VM checkbox. And then here you can see a refresh on this button and it auto populates the VM that has been installed on your GST workstation or player. Um, you can select the player or workstation option up here if you are using VirtualBox change here and Hyper VM, etc. So uh, I'll select the GNS3 VM that I have installed just a few moments ago. And here you can change the RAM. So I have selected as 8 GB and uh, virtual CPUs 2. And also I have selected the stop uh, the GNS3 VM. That is when you close the GNS3 client, it will automatically stop the GNS3 VM as well. And once you apply this, they should um, call an API. This should do an API call to the VM workstation GNS3 VM, turn it on, right? So let me uh, show you that. Let me go to apply. Okay. And this will turn on the workstation. Yeah. See? So this is turning on the VM machine on the workstation and okay let me just minimize you will see that the workstation okay you can see this gns3 vm in the server section right but it is not um uh, i mean green in green because uh, the vm is not yet turned on once this is turned on this uh, will be turned on i mean converted to green that makes it available right so let's wait for the gns3 vm to started to get started okay great uh, it has been turned on let me just minimize this workstation and hit okay here and you can see that the vm is turned green so we can use this server to run the uh, nodes right so i'll create a new project test one hit enter and i'll go on and add some nodes um, so i'll add basically a vpc because i don't have any other images uh, as of now installed so i'll uh, hit uh, you will get the option to run it on the local server or the vm i'll select vm i'll add another vpc and i'll select vm again i'll add a hub and i'll select VPC. so this is all these all images are running on the dns3 vm which is running on your vmware workstation so yeah so next i'll go and connect it to ethernet 00, zero on both the vpcs and zero 01 on the hub and I'll change the symbol. I don't like the symbol. I'll change it to affinity circle blue and affinity circle blue. And then here I'll type uh, client and I'll select this circle and apply. Okay. I'll do the same on the VPC2. I'll go and change the symbol and affinity circle and type client. Yeah. Apply. Okay. I'll change the hub as well. Let's go to the symbol affinity circle blue and let's type for the hub. Okay, apply. Okay, fine. So now that I have the nodes um, I mean, here, I'll just click on start. And you can see it is not uh, using the local server, it's using the DNS3 VM. So now I can go and um, open up the console by double clicking on the VPCs. Yeah. Uh, double clicking on the VPCs or right click and then hit on console. So I would double click and I, I actually have installed the solar party. Uh, it failed in the initial uh, installation, so I went on and separately installed it. Solar party actually gives you tabs, so that makes it easier for you to work on the lab. 
okay so nice so i'll go on to my vpc1 and i will give an, an ip address from 10.1.1.1 and the uh, sub mask is 255.255.255.0 slash 24 hit enter and go to vpc2 and ip address from the same range but dot two dot two two five five two five five two five five zero hit enter if everything's working fine my vpc1 should be able to ping pc2 on dot two dot two yeah so yeah great it's working and that's how you do it guys so we have learned how to install the gns3 vm and integrate with your gns3 uh client right so i'll turn off this so yeah guys in my next videos i'll be showing you how to add uh, the cisco rv ios and other images to your vmware uh, gns3 vm and uh, yeah so that's it guys and uh, if you like my channel and uh, the contents on my channel like, kindly do subscribe like and share the videos as much as possible so yeah that's it for this video guys stay tuned for my new videos bye bye